around, but let's take a tour and see what's this one. That guy's not for sale, but I like his outfit. Now, you know what's really interesting is that here in Guatemala, um, like parasites aren't an issue. Not here in Guatemala, here in Bali. Parasites are not an issue like they are in Guatemala. Um, and that's it. I mean, I would never eat anything without washing it. But I'm not as nervous here in this place as I would be back in Guatemala. Hello, everyone. Good morning for me. Good evening for you, most likely. It is my first, my first full day here in Bali. Um, I've been up since about 2 a.m. Uh, with major jet lag. Super sweet about the banana leaves, all of the bananas. Um, yeah, so, ooh, look at these carnations. So, other times we'll, ooh, we'll find these. Hello, good morning. So, I'm not foggy. Whoa, and I'm in the way. I was in the way just now. Ah, thank you. Oh, these actually look really good. And these, these fruit are really interesting. They're super sour and they look like little armadillos. Hi everyone. Hi Paulette in Kentucky. Hi Carrie Davis. Hey Jojo. Yeah, you caught me live. Good morning or good evening. Thank you. Ginger. Look at this. We got ginger. We got some tomatoes. We got some, looks like maybe bok choy. We got some tiny lemons. Hi Adam. Adam. I was just thinking about you. See, like you like, where is Adam? Ooh. You want to see one of my favorite fruits? These are rum pum. These are really great. You stick your thumb in and inside it's nice and white and squishy. Hi Becky, hi honey. Yeah, I'm having a great time. Oh, we got some dragon fruit, those are fun. We got the little banana lady, super sweet. Some nice selection of bananas here. Slama Puggy. So, uh, this morning I learned slash was reminded to say good morning is Salama Puggy. Tarima Kasi is thank you. Oh, Diane, thank you for the stars. Tori, yes, I'm having a lot of fun. Oh, some underwear and some brooms. Oh, actually, I love those brooms. I think I'm actually going to buy some of these brooms to bring back with me because they give a really soft sweep. The quality of the sweep you get with those brooms. Oh, my God, what is that? It's really satisfying. That. Donna, I'm brave to do it by myself. You know, I think, Donna, the first time, first time I went traveling by myself, no, the first time I rode the train by myself, I was scared. And I was pretty sure I was gonna die. And then I didn't die. But the first time I went traveling by myself to Thailand many years ago, I was pretty sure I was gonna die. And then I didn't die. And I just kept having all of these experiences that proved to me that, yeah, I could do this as a woman. It doesn't mean there are challenges, but pretty much there are challenges wherever you go. What is this? Wow. Hi, Sio. Hi, honey. Is produce less expensive there than the U.S.? Yes, everything is less expensive than the U.S. Except gasoline. Look, note the baskets. So this is actually something I really enjoy about Asia, is just like these live markets in Guatemala too. You, you guys have seen my videos many times. Look at this, just the back of the truck. No, I'm your hippie friend. Well, I am wearing shoes, so I'm actually much less close to the hippie than some hippie. Look at this, green. So the place where I'm staying has a kitchen. Yesterday. I bought two things. I bought apple cider vinegar and coconut oil. Coconut oil because I thought I'd make cook, but I was thinking about it this morning. It's like, if I were to cook properly, I would really need to stock a lot of things in my kitchen. And I think it's just easier just to eat out. Because I can get good food. So, remember we were talking about the little offerings? So here they have an offering on their stall, on their shop. Oh, look, we got lots of offerings. Oh, looks like they're doing a tour. So you can do tours with, the, with people and they'll like take you to the market. A lot of times it's like a it's like a cooking like a cooking class or like a cooking thing. Again, a little armadillo. Armadillo fruit, that's what I call them. 
Hi, Rebecca. Hi, honey. Yeah, Robin's so fresh. And you know what's also great about this? It's like, there's no fluorescent lights involved. Like, it's not whitewashed. It's not sterilized. Like, uh, yeah. You got your... You got your fish. And next door, you got your pants. Fish and pants. <laughs> come, come to the market for fish and pants. Sambal, ah, sambal spicy sauce, yeah. Normally we eat raw. Sambal makes sauce. Beautiful, huge, beautiful. Oh my god. Matthew O'Donnell, yes, I think fully well cooked, well served to be here in Bali. Put my energy towards. I did bring the cacao, and I will, um, excuse me, <laughs> 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 and there she's got, we got chicken feet next to the pants, we got chicken feet. Can your grandma do that? <laughs> pants, your feet, oh, incense, actually I might want to get some incense. Oh, and I need some soap, but you know what, I think I'd like to buy like actually nice soap, not, not cheap chemical soap. Uh, so let's let's keep going. Let's see what else we got down here. Sour mm. sauce. Hi, Sandy. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Gloria. Hey, Tammy. Yeah, nice fruit, huh? Durian. Durian. Mm. Smelly like durian. But this is sweet. It's like pineapple as well. <laughs> and this is not for the cooking. So there's the little offering baskets. They make them every day. Ooh, now we're getting now we're getting real colorful. Ooh. Oh wow! So again, the offering is a big thing here. Oh hi Linda. Can you do that? Can I do what? Oh Kimberly, I'm so happy to take you. This fruit is being held hostage against its will. It's alright, it's pretty dangerous. So. What am I gonna get? Donna, I don't think I'm gonna get anything this time. I'm not foggy. Foggy. No. Mm, well, I smell that very... I don't think I'm gonna get anything this time. I just wanted to come and check it out. Hi, Kirstie. Good morning, honey. How are you doing? Wow, I just walked past Durian. Oh, hello. We got these. Abejas. Oh, thank you. I actually don't want to buy any anything, especially really sugary things. My okay, so the you know maybe you heard my videos. I've been eating like I've been eating like since I've been traveling. I ate cheeseburgers and cookies and grilled cheese sandwich. It was great. I enjoyed it. And it's starting to so my digestion is definitely feeling it. So I have to exercise some a little bit of self restraint right now and not eat all of the sweet things and try to go a little cleaner. Look at this incredible tree. Carol, CC, your screen is black. Are you the only one? Uh, I'm gonna guess no because no one else is talking about it. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, honey. Good morning. We have some of our friends watching over us. Look at this. Look at these guys. Oh, Jennifer Creed, thank you. Thank you for the stars, honey. Thank you. Look at that guy. Filene says her screen is okay. Shannon, I'm glad I made it here too. It was a long journey. It was a long journey, and I am still in the stage where I'm recovering. I was up at 2 o'clock in the morning, could not sleep, the jet lag got me, but it's okay. I made music, I hung out, I did some stuff online, I watched Tiffany, aka Chicky Wicks, latest video. Damn, she looked good without makeup. She also looks good without it. I'm glad that we established that you don't need makeup in order to show up in videos. When you have makeup, it's like an extra perk. You don't need it, you know? Hi Marlena, Marlena, I'm so glad you got your bracelets. I just saw the post in the High Vibe Tribe. I'm really happy that there are people starting to get them and they're arriving. Tracy, Tracy Hensley. Um, and also I saw the question was asked by Suzette as well. Suzette Joseph Foy. How long am I here for? So, 
Where are you from? Uh, America. America. But I live in, in Guatemala. No, I'm no good. <laughs> but you're good. Thank you. Adios. So, so you can tell that the hair is just like so sweet. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's going to be some bad apples where you go, but a few bad apples are just going to be a bunch. Overall, I find the people here to be incredibly sweet, incredibly helpful, incredibly kind. So, how long will I be here? That's the question. I will be here, I don't know. Um, I have my Airbnb booked for a month, um, but I'm giving myself the option to stay a little longer. I told Saul, who's staying at my apartment, that I would get back to him within the next two weeks. I also have that time before I have to. So I, I told you guys about that credit card I got that I'm putting all my travel expenses on the card so I can get bonus miles so my next trip is free. So I have until the 18th to get the, to meet my quota. And so when I buy my next plane ticket, I think that'll push me to meet my quota. So that, I have to do that by September 18th. So by September, August 18th. Uh, I am going to be buying my ticket to my next place. I don't know where that is yet. Um, I may go back to the Philippines. I may do a trip to Nepal. I may just go the hell home. I don't know. We're, we're going to see. Hi, Susan. Hi, sweetie. So we are here in the market. They're just they're just closing it down. So we're kind of seeing it at the end. Oh, you want to know what this is? This is a banana flower right there. Um, and look at this beautiful tree. It's just, just, oh, hey. Oh, hi, gorgeous. Hi, gorgeous. Yeah, Kara, everyone seems friendly. So it's like, you know, people get these ideas that, you know, it's not safe outside of the United States. Like, other oh, countries are dangerous. And it's like, really? What are you basing that on? Because my experience, having gone to places, I find that people are really kind. People are kind in Guatemala. People are kind in Mexico. People are kind in Bali. People are super kind in the Philippines. In fact, I have only really encountered kindness. So. Stop by India. Maybe, Kathy. I am actually thinking that there's this musical instrument that I really want to buy. I look at that bitter gourd. There's a musical instrument um, that I really want to buy. And so I'm actually thinking of possibly swinging by Bali. We'll see. Yeah, Mila. The heart, oh, the heart of the banana. I didn't know it was the heart. I, I always called it the... Um, flower oh my sweet lord what do we have here we've got some durian fruit and some eels because you know when i think of a great snack combination i think of durian fruit which smells like trash by the way and i think of eels you know you just they kind of go down like spaghetti you just you know and then you're done so is eel oh my god i'm sorry I'm sorry, Greg. Rebecca, you know, I could ask Luke to get it for me, but he's he already bought one, and he already has so much that he's carrying, so... Oh, my God. You know that, that, that the liquid they're in makes a fine tea, you know? You just... Oh, my God. Okay, all right. We... I'm sorry. Sorry if that was so good for you. It was also kind of gross. Um... Yeah, Lelena, La I'm in Bali right now, so I'm making my first trip to Bali since the pandemic. So my path to Guatemala, I went from Bali, New Hampshire, Egypt, 
Guatemala, and I always imagined that I would, because I had such a great time, I always imagined that I would come back to Bali much sooner, in fact, <sighs> I had some journals that I was planning to come back for, that's a whole other story, I need to make a proper video of why I came to Bali, because there's a bigger story, um, so this is my first time traveling for, for like love, for, for my heart. I've left Guatemala a few times to go on visa runs because I had to leave to go to Mexico, but it wasn't like, I'm so called, I have to go because I need to because my heart and soul is calling me there. Um, so this is my first like heart trip since the pandemic. Oh, Trisha, I'm sorry. Good luck with all of that stuff. It sounds really, really challenging. It sounds like a really big challenge of that, like, surrender. Uh, Karen, the squirmy stuff was eels. It was a bunch of eels. You know, because you get your flowers, you get your vegetables, you get your pants over there, and you get your eels. Oh, Sri Lanka, yeah. Sri Lanka also sounds really cool. Oh, we got some... Some fresh turmeric fruit. That actually looks really good. I did bring turmeric with me. Whoa. Let's get out of the way. Look at those blue flowers. Oh, worm tea. Lisa, I don't think that was worms. I think it was eels because I saw their little faces and their little eyes and their little mouths. Um, worms look different. But, but, but you bring up a good point. Worm tea is great. Worm tea is important. Worm tea is part of how we can bring a lot of um, fertility into an ecosystem. Worm tea is definitely something I want to make. Not something I want to drink, but something I want to make and give to my land. Hello. So they're on their tour. So this is where you can have like a local guide, take, like guide you to the market and show you what's what and teach you. Okay, let's continue on our way. And there's our friend again. Bye bye. Okay. Do they grow it themselves? Trisha, I don't believe so. I think these are probably like the middlemen who have a supplier. Oh, look at that tree. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. I just got really excited about the cute thing. My my annoying voice comes out when there's something cute. Okay. You got eggs. Okay, well this was really good to know. It was good, good, good. This was good. I appreciate it. I think it was fun. And we're done here. So here's my bike. I'm gonna get on my bike. Oh, Michelle, I should treat myself to a bouquet of flowers. You know what? I think that that was a really nice idea. Um, I I don't think these are the flowers that I'm looking for because these are already like cut. I would prefer like stems, like flowers and stems that I can like put in a vase. These types of flowers are traditionally just designed for like the offering type. Although those hydrangeas were really pretty, I wish, and I didn't. Now that I think about it, I did not see the stems. But what to do? Um, all right, guys, you know what? I am so excited to be able to. So one thing I want to find today is I want to find an attachment to go on my scooter that will hold my cell phone so I can bring you guys with me when I drive. Um, I think that would be really fun. Okay, I wonder if I can do that from here. Can I? Nope, that's a big fat nope. Unless, no. I think that's a big fat note. Okay, so I have a few things I gotta get today. One, I gotta get soap. I gotta get an adapter for a phone charger, because it's a different than a US plug, so I gotta get an Asian plug. Uh, I gotta get the thing to hold the phone. And then there are a few more things on my list. Um, and I gotta take myself to the spa day. I did not go to the spa yesterday because I just. I was bopping around, I went to the pyramids of chi, I sang some songs, I went and found the schedule for my 12 step meetings, I found the most, well I knew it, I didn't find it. I visited the coolest street that I wanted to see you guys shopping down, you're gonna, you're gonna cream yourselves, it's amazing, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it, I can't wait to take you on that, on that, on that walk. Um, so I didn't go to the spa yesterday because then it was dark and I was already going home. They're starting the day really late. So, so today, after my 12-step meeting, I am going to take myself to the spa finally and get 
get some good, some good relaxation because my nervous system is still a little really, really from all the travel, so I'm not sleeping enough, so. Um, yeah, Scooter Lives would be awesome. Scooter Lives would be super awesome. But I want to bring you on that adventure so badly. There's, this is part of my life. This is part of my life that I so badly want to share with you guys because it's so fun and it's so free and the views you get and the freedom and the wind in your hair. Ah. Also, know about my hair. I don't have a hair dryer and it's muggy, so I'm going to have a lot of frizzy hair. So just, 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 just do it. Okay. Um, in my pocket. I don't have a pocket. I got the sponge. Amanda, I got the sponge, but I did not, did not get the soap. So I need dish soap and hand soap. He's got the little belly. I see a little belly. Sorry, 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 sorry. Flowers too. Yeah, Debbie, flowers too. But they're there. Oh gosh. Oh, that was my alarm. I I set this really funny alarm on my phone. It says good morning. It's eight forty-five. As if I was going to be sleeping this whole time, and as if I didn't wake up at two o'clock in the morning, and I've been up since 2 o'clock in the morning. I set that cue alarm in case I was asleep to remind myself to wake up. But that would be nice. We'll get there. So later on today, I'm just going to go go to the spa and just just, 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 just chill a little bit. So, so um, speak, CJ, I don't know. It's hard to hear you. It, you know, it might be on your end because are you guys having is the general consensus that it's hard to hear me? Because I know that sometimes people have a hard time hearing me, but not everyone seems to be complaining about that, so you might have to check your side. It might also help to get earbuds and then to listen to the earbuds. It might also be your phone. It might be your phone. All right, let's let's see. Let's see what happens. Get my key. I know Sylvia, I need a scooter in Guatemala. It's just, it's just that the, um, it's just that the rot, the terrain is so um, bumpy. It is hard to hear. Okay, well, you know that sucks because I got this new phone to make the split picture better. Now the audio is up, so I think I need to stop by and for this phone and just go for a new one next time. Carolyn, you find it super clear. Okay, well, literally can't please everybody. Yes, I went to LA for one day and I hung out with my dear friend Chippy Crosby, aka Chippy Wicks. Are you following Chippy Wicks? You're missing out if you're not following Chippy Wicks. All right. All right. Let's see if this can work. If we can get anything cool. Work on the thing so you can follow along. You need a vicarious spa experience with it. I'll do. I'll do my best. Whoa! See, that's freedom, guys. That's that's freedom. You can stand on a moving truck. You can put three family members on a scooter with no helmets. That's freedom. The freedom to hurt yourself. All right, guys. I love you. Bye.